All righty then, hold on to your gadgets. After today's tech update, we've got a call from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, that's just too good to skip. For many years, there's been talk that long-term use of the internet by older adults contributes to the risk of dementia. Only now do we have some concrete research. With virtually no past research to guide them, doctors at NYU's School of Global Public Health and researchers at the University of Michigan, they set out to establish the first ever baseline study on what they call the long-term cognitive impact of internet usage among older adults. And what they found is noteworthy. After 17 years following 20,000 older patients, of those who were active internet users, the study places the risk of developing dementia at one and a half percent. But with non-internet users, dementia risk soared to a whopping 10.4 percent. The brain seems to be like most other parts of the human body. As you age, use it or lose it. And get tech smart every single day at getkim.com. All right, just as I promised, here's a fantastic call from my show that you've got to hear. Uh, Greg in Orlando, Florida. Hi there, Greg. How are you today? Great. What's going on? Oh, I uh, I was looking for a uh, program. I don't even know if it exists. If you're on your system, you know, and you're taking uh, uh, Zoom classes or some other training course where it can actually record all of the contents that's on the screen and then just put it in a file. So let's say maybe that night or tomorrow or the next day, you can call it up and you can see all the files, all the you know, pictures, all the graphs and everything, uh, or questions that were presented in the uh, uh, class or the uh, uh, program. That's awesome. What kind of class are you taking online? Uh, it's all, all different types of continuing education type stuff, you know, from soup to nuts, you know, uh, anywhere from, let's say, from uh, uh, financial management to, you know, HR, you know, and everybody's doing stuff online and they throw all this stuff up there and they mm-hmm. throw all the questions up there. And, you know, you can't do a print screen or something. You're, you're sitting there trying to yeah. write all this stuff. <laughs> you're like, whoa, you know? this is bad. This is, I can't yeah. get all this. Yeah. I mean, maybe I should have had more coffee this morning. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, here's the deal is that um, you said, are you using Windows or Mac? Windows 11. Okay. Uh, with Windows, you actually have a built-in screen recorder. Uh, you're mm-hmm. like, whoa, didn't know that. Um, magical key is that Windows key. And yeah. uh, and plus the letter G, and then that's going to pop up a screen, and that's where you can record what's happening on the screen. So there's all these classes you talked about, the graphics, the questions, the, the slides, everything is going to be saved into a file right on your computer. We've got steps on how to use that over on uh, commando.com. Now, if you find that you need more flexibility, uh, there's a program called OBS. It's been around forever, and it works on Windows and Mac. And so if you're trying to record what's happening on the screen, like in a class, as you mentioned, or even if it's like maybe part of a YouTube video that you, you, know, you don't want to download it, but you just want a certain part of it, that it really does make it easy. So you're not sitting there just trying to like remember every single thing that's going on and writing it down or taking your phone and recording that screen, because I know a lot of folks will do that too. So again, uh, Windows now has a, a built-in screen recorder. It's again, that Windows key plus the letter G. And if that doesn't work out for you, OBS, like I mentioned, it's been around for a long, long time, and that's uh, another program. Just hang on the line, Greg. We're going to send you links out to uh, Microsoft and also over on our website and also OBS, so this way you can check it out. And thanks for your call today. A standing ovation to you for tuning in. Yay! Now, if you're puzzled by a tech issue, here's your call to action. Head to commando.com, select Email Kim. I read each and every note like it's the... Final round in a tech trivia game. And you can amp up your tech know-how by getting my free daily newsletter. It's just waiting for you over at getkim.com.